Welcome to Tech Tools for Success, preparing for next generation assessments. If you have a Chromebook, desktop computer, or other electronic device, please log in and open the internet at this time. You'll benefit more from this video if you can work along with what I am explaining. You may also pause or rewind this video at any time. Today's tutorial will review digital resources available to you on the grades 9 through 12 American Government Performance-Based Assessment. This is a digital assessment and may be different from assessments that you are used to taking. It does have tools that will help you to better perform on the assessment. That is the purpose of this tutorial. Today, we are learning about the tools available to us on the new Ohio State tests. I strongly urge you to play with the resources and tools available to you on the test today. You do not want to waste time on the day of the test learning how to use these features. That is what this tutorial is for. Let's log on to nextgen.nuaka.org. Again, that web address is n E X T G E N dot Nuwaka dot org. This is where we will access the practice tests. Now let's click on Ohio Online Field Test Portal four through twelve. Today, we will sign in as a guest. Click on Sign In. Choose your grade level. For today's video, I will choose grade level 12. Then I will click on Yes. On this page, you will see all of the practice assessments that you can take. You may or may not be taking all of these this year. Your teachers will explain which tests you will take. For this class, you'll be taking the performance-based assessment and the EOI. You will take the PBA, or performance-based assessment, first this spring, and then the EOI, the end-of-year assessment, later. Let's click on the American Gov PBA. We begin to see some of the settings and resources that will be available to us on this page. Let's turn masking on. We will see how to use this later in the video. Let's look at the different color choices available to us. Again, on the test, choose a color choice that you are familiar with and comfortable with. The default will be black on white. That is what you see right now. Black font and a white background. I will use that for the purpose of this tutorial, but let's look at the others that are available. Light yellow, light blue, light magenta, reverse contrast, or white on navy. I'm going to leave that on black and white and click select. This page previews and reviews our settings. Let's make sure these are all the settings we would like to use. I have masking on, black on white, so I will now click yes, start my test. This page is the test instructions and help page. These are the resources we will be examining in this tutorial. I would encourage you to pause the video at this point and read through the different tools you have available to you on the test. Now that you've read through these on your own or as a class, I'm going to click Begin Test Now. Now, let's review some of the test tools. If at any point on the test you forget how to use some of the tools that we're going to review in this tutorial, click on the question mark up in the right-hand corner. 
when I click on that, this is the help guide. It has the basic page layout here that we're going to review over, and it also has a description of all of the different tools that you will have access to on the test. And this is what we're going to review on this tutorial. First, let's look at the question drop down. That's up here in the top left corner. When I click on that, I can maneuver to different questions. And I can jump from the last question here to the first question here. Now, we're going to look at our navigation tools. This tool helps you, once again, flip from question to question by going back or forward. If I've answered a question and I want to lock in that answer, I can click Save. I can also pause my test while I'm taking it. If I pause the test, and let's all click on Pause, this, this box will appear. Are you sure you want to pause the test? If you pause your test for more than 20 minutes, you will not be able to go back and change questions you've already answered. If for some reason you do not make any movement on your test for 20 minutes, your test will automatically pause and save the changes that you have made. Now, to submit the test, you click End Test. All right, let's look at some of the other tools that are available to us on the performance-based assessment. The first tool is a masking tool. Many of you on a traditional paper or pencil test may cover up answers or you may cover up parts of the question so that they do not distract you. You may use your hand, your pencil, or even a sheet of paper. Well, you have the option and ability to do that on today's performance-based assessment by clicking the masking button. Once I've done that, it is highlighted in red, and all I need to do to mask part of the question is click over here and drag. And then I click again. So if I'm using a Chromebook, I click on the trackpad and just slide my finger over the part that I want masked. You can do this on a desktop by clicking with the left clicker and then dragging the mouse where you want. You will have the option of using a mouse that will plug in to your Chromebook on the assessment. Now, if I want to cover more because I'm really distracted, notice how I have not turned masking off. So anywhere I click, it will start to mask. Now, to, get, to turn the masking off, I simply click the masking. And if I want to get rid of these boxes, I can X out of the boxes. Next, some of you on tests like to write in the margins to give yourself a little clue about stuff or take notes. Well, we can do that on these performance-based assessments as well. We click on Notes, and our notepad will appear. So if I have some ideas about this question, I can type in ideas. I can move this around anywhere I'd like it. And if I want it to go away, but I want to keep that idea there, I hit Save and Close. So if I need to reopen those notes, I can reopen them. If I want to just get rid of it for right now, I'll hit Cancel. Next, some of you use a sheet of paper or a pencil or even your finger as you read to help you keep your place. Well, we have a similar option to that on today's performance-based assessment, and that is the line reader. So I can use that, and it will highlight each line. And I can use my arrow key on my keyboard to go down or back up. Again, to remove that, all I do is click on line reader. If you would like to zoom in, you just click the magnifying glass to zoom in. And then you can also zoom out as well. Now, this type of question may be different from what you are used to seeing as well. So if we do not know how to even answer the question, there is a context menu box here, and it looks like a settings box. So if I click on that, there's a tutorial on how to answer questions. It will not give you the answer, 
but it will demonstrate to you how to properly answer the question. So each question has a different video tutorial that will show you what to do. If you follow the red box, it's going to give you written directions. And then up above, it will demonstrate to you how to answer the question. So this is a drag and drop question. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to watch this entire tutorial. If you or your teacher would like to pause my tutorial and watch this as a class together, that might be beneficial to you. So I will X out of that. So that showed me, all right, what I need to do is drag these different branches here over here. Now, I am just doing this without reading which obviously you do not do on the test. But I'm doing this to demonstrate to you. Now, let's say I know these aren't necessarily correct. So I want to X out or get rid of some of those. All I do is hit the delete and then click on which branches I want to delete. And then I can read, click that delete. Another option that you have, let's say you don't know this question. You don't know the answer to the question. What you can do is you can mark it for review. So by doing that over here, it kind of turns the page over. Some of you on a traditional paper and pencil test may circle the question so that you know to go back to that. Well, this is similar to that. Also notice up here in your question box, your drop down, it writes marked as right there as well. So that's a nice little feature. Now, this question and these ideas aren't very long. But if they were longer, or even for a question this length, you may want to highlight certain things. I know I need to identify, so I'm going to highlight. All you do is highlight the word. Now, those three little icons will not appear on your test. But what you do is you can right-click to go highlight selection. On a Chromebook, to right-click, a two-finger tap will right-click. If you are not able to do that, another way to do this is to go up to this context menu, click on it, and you can highlight the selection there. Also notice we can reset highlighting as well. So if I don't want this highlighted anymore, I'll go up here and I'll reset it. And boom, the highlighting is gone. Let's take a look at another style of question on today's tutorial. Now this question gives you information and then it asks you to type. Now, most of the questions on the performance-based assessments are going to be two-part questions. You need to make sure that you're reading all the information carefully and that you're addressing all parts of the question. Now, I'm not going to review the answer with you. I'm just going to review basic tools to help you be successful on this assessment. So I would start to type. I would write my important ideas here. And we will review what this toolbar does. If I think ideas is important and I want to bold it for some reason, this big bolded B is the bold icon. I can italicize with that. Underline with the U. Now, we also can remove formatting. I don't want any of that bolded, italicized, or underlined, so I'll just click that and it will take care of it easily for me. Now, let's say I want to use bullet points or numbers. I can do that as well. So that is numbers. We have bullet points. We have the ability to change our margins or indent. If I want to get rid of this, I can cut it, cut the entire thing. I can also copy that and then if I want to paste that there as well oh, I guess I really did not want to do that so I can hit the back button here or the undo button on second thought I think I did want to do that 
So I, I need to put ideas as well. I'm not going to copy it this time. I'm going to write it out again. Hmm, how do I spell ideas? Well, let's see if that's correct. I can use my spell check, and that will tell me that this is spelled incorrectly. Notice if I click on the word, it gives me suggestions. So that is what I want. And then over here, you can insert special characters when uh, you have the ability to do that or when needed. Now, I'm not real sure I liked my answer for this, so I'm going to mark this. In order to mark this, I will click that box over there. So let's see the other types of questions here. We have another type of question. This is a check the box question. For these, you will simply check the boxes that you believe have the proper answers. So that is another style of question that you may see on the performance-based assessment. And I'll hit save for that. I'll lock that one in. And again, we see another extended response. Notice how it's two parts here. You have to answer the entire question. Now, what I want you to do right now is go back to this Nuaka Next Generation org uh, page here. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can X out a possible answer if it's a multiple choice question. But to do that, we have to open up the end of year exam. So again, if you for some reason closed out of nextgen.nuaka.org, open it back up, N-E-X, T-G, E-N, dot, N-W-O, C-A, dot, O-R-G. We're going to click on Ohio, online field test portal, we are going to sign in as a guest once again. We are going to select grade 12 again, and then I will click yes. I'm going to choose the American government EOI. I'm going to turn my masking on. Now, just so that you can see a different color choice and so that you can see how radically different the test may look, I'm going to choose a different color choice for this. Remember, you don't want the first time you're taking this test to be the first time you use one of these color choices. Use a color choice that you are familiar with so it does not distract you. So I will choose reverse contrast and then I will hit select. Now look how this is a lot different. The background is black, the font is white or lighter colors. Again, this is just to make sure these are the settings I want. I'll hit yes, start my test. Again, these are the test instructions and help. We have gone over most of those, but there's one more I want to show you. Now, the last tool I want to show you is the strike through. So if we look up here and we click on our context menu and I click strike through, this gives me the ability to cross out possible answers. Now to remove the strike through, I just click back on there. I hope this tutorial has helped you better understand how to take the performance-based assessment for your American government class. Remember to read each question carefully, address all parts of the question, and good luck.